Once upon a time, there were two brothers. They'd been living in the same house with their father and ploughing the same field of their father. When their father passed away, he split the field between the two sons. The two sons split the house between two and carried on living as neighbours. The only thing is that one brother, somehow everything worked out for him. Like he hardly needed to touch the field and it just sprang up with the greatest of crops. The guy got married quickly, had kids, just had a most wonderful life, whilst the other brother, let's call him Yossi, had a rubbish life. The, for some reason, the other half of the field never gave its crops. He never managed to build any relationship with anybody. He lived on his own, scraping a living. Life was pretty miserable for him. And just before we carry on, it's not that story. I know which one you're thinking about, but it's not that one. So anyway, one evening, the poor brother, Yossi, decides that he's going to take a walk in the fields, just wandering about life and existence. And as he's wandering in his field, he suddenly sees in his brother's field a huge giant. And he's about to run away. The giant calls out to him. He says, no, no, don't worry, don't worry. I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just your brother's luck. I'm not going to hurt you or anything, I'm just your brother's luck. And Yossi looks at this giant and he goes, okay, right, that would explain it, of course, my brother's luck is bloody huge. And the giant says, no, 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 no. your luck is actually much bigger than me. It's just that he's, he's asleep, he's, he's, you know, this is the way that the lockdown's affected him, he's not really getting up in the mornings. All you need to do is go over and, and wake up your luck and you'll be fine. Yossi is delighted. He takes the directions from the, from the luck of his brother and makes his way off to find his luck and wake the lazy thing up. So anyway, so he's on his way and he finds himself, he's at the, at the, at the, there's a big chasm and a long bridge going across the chasm. And standing in front of the bridge is a lion. And the lion comes up to him and says, okay, now I'm going to eat you. And Yossi says, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, because my luck is asleep, so obviously you're going to eat me. But look, do me a favour. If you let me go by, I'll actually be meeting my luck, and apparently my luck is really huge, and, and I'm sure he'll be able to sprinkle a bit of luck your way as well. It's probably worth our while if you let me go. So the lion says, all right then. If you can please find out why is it, am I always hungry? If your luck can make sure that I'm no longer always hungry, I'll let you come back this way on your return. So Yossi carries on, and suddenly he's captured by a net, and along comes a farmer. And the farmer says to him, right, I've caught you. Now you're going to have to work for me for 30 years because you have been trespassing on my land. And Yossi says, yeah, no, well, of course, of course that's going to happen, because you know, my luck is still asleep. But I'm just about to wake him up. And I promise you, once I wake the luck up, he'll come over and he'll give you a bit of luck as well. If you can just let me go and wake him up, I'll come back later and we'll sort this all out. It'll be okay. The farmer says, all right then. When you come back here, you tell me why that tree never gives fruit. I want that tree to give me some fruit. I've been here 50 years and it's never given me fruit. Off Yossi goes and suddenly he finds himself surrounded by 10 soldiers. And the soldiers say, you must be a spy. We're going to take you to execute you. And Yossi says, yeah, well, of course, yeah, because I might. And he tells him like, this story of his luck. And he says, look, if you let me wake up my giant, my giant luck, then, you know, I'm sure he'll give all 10 of you a lot of luck as well. And, and you'll never have spies again. And the soldiers say, all right, then. We don't need that kind of luck. What we need is an answer. Our princess has not stopped crying since her father died some three years ago, and nothing's being done in this country. We need our princess to stop crying. If you can find a way to stop her crying, we'll let you go. Yossi says, fine. He walks off, and he can hear this, this rolling thunder coming from afar. And this rolling thunder, he realises, is the snoring of his luck. 
he finally comes across his luck. It's this huge giant lying on the ground, just snoring. And Yossi looks for the most painful part that he can kick, and he boots his luck awake. And his luck says, oh, God, sorry about that. I've just been oof, really strange dreams these days with all the lockdown. All right, um, what can I do for you? And Yossi says, look, it is about time you started pulling your weight. I need my luck awake. So his luck says, all right then, all right then. I will, I, I, I've just got to get a coffee, right? So I'm just going to get a coffee. I'll meet you back at your place and we'll sort everything out, I promise. And Yossi says, yeah, but I need some answers because I've got, I've got some soldiers and I've got a farmer and I've got a lion who needs some help. No problem, says the luck. Here he answers, you make your way and I'll meet you back there. Great. So Yossi is making his way back and of course, first of all, he comes across the soldiers. And the soldiers say to him, right, all right then, great, what's the answer? And Yossi says, oh, all oh, right, right, it's really easy. The way that you can stop the princess crying is that she should marry a foreigner. And the soldiers go, well, that's brilliant, because you're a foreigner. So if you marry the princess, you, you'll end up being the king, uh, married to the queen, and, and everything's going to be brilliant. And Yossi says, yeah, well, yeah, any other day I would do that, but, but I'm kind of busy, right? Because I've got to get home to, 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 my, to my luck, because my luck's waiting at home. So I'm afraid I can't help you out this time round. But, you know, you'll find someone else, don't worry. Yossi carries on, leaving the soldiers somewhat nonplussed. Comes up to the farmer, and the farmer says, well, what, what about my tree? Yossi says, your tree. Ah, the reason why your tree isn't giving fruit is because there's a huge treasure chest deep underneath the tree and it's getting in the way of the roots. You just need to undig the treasure chest and you'll be very rich and your tree will give fruit. The farmer goes, well, I'm a bit old for doing all that digging, but I tell you what, if you help me dig out that treasure chest, we'll share it. You can have half the treasure and I'll have half the tre treasure. How about that? And Yossi says, yeah, I'm, I can't, I, I'm, I'm kind of busy because I've, I've, I've got to get home to, uh, to, to my luck. So I'm, I've, I can't help you out, but I'm sure that there's some soldiers over the way. Maybe they'll give you a hand. Then Yossi, he's nearly home. He's about to cross the ravine and there stands the lion. And the lion says, well, why am I always hungry? And Yossi goes, Oh, right, right. Apparently, the way that you can quench your enduring hunger is you just need to eat an idiot. And the lion was never hungry again. So I know that the, the obvious uh, moral of the story is that, especially nowadays, we need to count our luck and make use of it. But I think that more... Important is that sometimes it turns out that the help someone needs is us and not somebody else to help them out. I think nowadays the time is for us to, for me, to try to step up and provide the help that somebody else requires. Anyway, um, I'm Robbie Greengrass. Made this together with a brilliant videographer, uh, photographer and artist, Neil Mercer. Uh, and again, just to say that uh, if you like this story uh, and you would like another story to be told, if you have a story in mind, one that maybe you've heard me tell before or you've heard tell before, just stick it in the comments and we'll try and produce it. And obviously also, if you'd like to dedicate it to anybody, write that in the comments as well. Keep it together.